checking out the latest products in the 3D printing world. Today, I'll give you a first look and my full review of some of the latest products courtesy of Sunloop. It's all in today's video, and it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dead, first and foremost. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out today's video if you are a regular or a first timer. I do appreciate you stopping in and checking out today's video. Before you leave, make sure you of course go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe. Uh, if you are not, because I have a lot more videos on deck. But talking about today's video, today we're going to be looking at some new products that were recently released by Sunlu. Uh, I had the opportunity to test these and try these products out. So today we're going to take a look and see just how well they did. So I am a longtime user of Sunlu products. When I first started getting into 3D printing, they were one of the uh, companies that I eyed right away just based on product availability and pricing. One of the products that Sunlu sent over was their new s2 filament dryer and let me tell you uh, it is a really really nice well-constructed filament dryer you guys know i am a big advocate of filament dryers they do make a huge difference in the quality of print so this is something you definitely want to start off with before you even start printing looking at this model here like i said really really clean awesome setup here with a very nice sleek design to it and an easy to use touchscreen display uh, this unit here will show you the ambient room humidity. It is gonna automatically adjust the temperature of whatever filament you have. And yes, it literally does every type of filament you could think of on here. Uh, everything is preloaded. Uh, you are able to adjust the time. So even if you do have some moisture in your filament that you're aware of, you can pretty much adjust it to run uh, at any time that you would like. And it does have this cool little ambient LED ring that does different flashing features and motion features. So that's kind of cool if you like that sort of thing. Uh, the biggest thing that I noticed from this is just how far Sunloo's filament dryers have come. And here's a look at one of their original filament dryers that I got from probably three or four years ago. You know, it did the job, but there were a lot of flaws in it. The hinge on the old filament dryer just kind of open. There was no way that it could stop. So oftentimes when I was loading the filament, it would slam on the desk. I had one and ended up cracking because I hit it so hard. Um, and it's just really basic. It didn't really have a timer. You just kind of set the temperature and just let it go. You had to set a timer on your phone or keep an eye on the clock. This new filament dryer, you know, it's the, it's the complete opposite. Like I said, it has all these cool features. Uh, it shows humidity, relative temperature. You can set the timer, auto adjust the temperature based on your filament and substrate that you have in there. A ton of great features. And it also now has a locking hinge. So when you open it, it will not slam on the ground or potentially damage the dryer or knock it off a shelf or anything like that. So, and you know, using this unit here, uh, it, it's done a great job. I haven't had any impurities in my print. It does exactly what it says. And it's something that I definitely recommend if you're looking to get better quality out of your 3D prints. So you're probably saying to yourself, so what DW, they just sent you some PLA and you went ahead and printed with it? Well, yes and no. So obviously we know that there are all these new printers coming out that are clipper based. Uh, they are meant to print faster. Uh, they optimize your prints better, you know, using things like Orca Slicer and Bamboo Lab. You know, these slicers are, they're, they're top of the line and they work in conjunction with these new clipper based printers. But with this faster speed, you can't just use normal PLA. So Sunlu sent over their high speed PLA plus, And let me tell you, it is absolutely awesome. So after running it through the Sunlu S2 dryer and printing it, I, I tested this stuff. So I printed it on uh, my Creality K1 Max, uh, my Creality CR10 SE, and my new Two Trees SK1. Printing these at anywhere from 400 millimeters per second all the way up to 700 millimeters per second. And they all printed flawlessly. Uh, I printed a bunch of busts because that's actually going to be uh, one of the new videos that I have coming out. And to me, a bust show a ton of detail. You can see in some of these pieces here, you know, the faces on Black Panther, his necklace and his suit. There's so, so much detail here. And I just printed these at, at a 0.2 layer height, just a standard default settings on Orca Slicer. But like I said, look how great they turned out. So this high-speed PLA without getting too technical, you know, it, it, it's made a little bit differently 
than regular PLA or something like PETG. Uh, as that filament gets fed in faster through the hot end, compiled and composed of different material to regulate and allow faster speed to come through and still give you awesome print quality. So uh, I tried it out on a couple of busts here. I printed a few more things. Uh, they turned out really well. I'm printing a couple more things right now. Uh, I am working on a Deadpool helmet. I know I am late to the party. Uh, life itself has just been a little bit busy for me, but I have been chipping away here trying to get things done. So I will have some shorts and some other things on this filament, but I can tell you uh, just from early glance, just how great it is. If you are running clipper-based machines, I would definitely look into some high-speed PLA, and especially from Sunglue here because the price point is really awesome. You can usually get it between $14 and $16, which is really, really great. Uh, as far as settings go and everything, like I said, I am gonna have another video on exactly what I did and what I tweaked and adjusted to get this awesome quality. But out of the box, this stuff was great. Uh, it was vacuum sealed nice and tight. Did it have any moisture in it? I don't think so, but again, it's just taking those proper steps you know, using the filament dryer, uh, starting off on the right foot, getting that moisture out, it's gonna give you a better print, it's gonna reduce wear and tear on your printer, and overall, give you great prints time and time again. So overall, all I can say is two thumbs up from Sunlu, their new high-speed PLA Plus, and their S2 filament dehydrator, uh, something that I definitely, definitely recommend to you if you're trying to get better quality out of your prints. Definitely look towards them as an affordability factor, as I touched on. Very, very affordable on both ends. You can, of course, go ahead and check Sunlu out on their website and also see them on Amazon if you're trying to get a little bit quicker. They are always running all sorts of deals, discounts, and coupons. So make sure to check out the affiliate links that I have left in the description box. And of course, if you do pick any of this stuff up, make sure to drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Well, that's it for this video, guys. And that is a look at a couple new products that I highly recommend from Sunlu. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you go out and try these products or maybe you've already tried these products, please go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know what you think. And of course, if you do enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, DIY builds, Marvel, all the fun stuff I'm doing on the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I know I've been away for a minute. Life's been a little bit crazy, but I am still diligently chipping away. I've got a lot, a lot of videos that are on deck and I'm very excited for another video that I have that is gonna be exclusively all Sunloop products. If you have kids and you are a Disney fan, you're definitely gonna to wanna to come back and see this video that I have on deck featuring all Sunloop products and filament. Four, four, four. Well, I gotta get moving on to the next project. Make sure to go ahead and check Sunlu out on their Amazon store, their website. Make sure to check out all their social media. Uh, they have some really awesome networking Facebook groups out there, so make sure to give them a try and check them out if you're looking for some awesome products at an affordable price. Well, that's it. I gotta get moving on to all these other projects that I'm so far behind on. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, click the subscribe button. Until next time, it's DW out. Later.